Today I'm going to show you how you can make an activity in Easel by TPT self-grading. For those of you who may not be familiar with Easel, Easel is a digital tool that allows you to easily assign digital TPT resources to your students. Angela here from Custom Classroom, making test prep simple. A great way to save your nights and weekends from grading is to make an activity self-grading. In this video, I will show you how you can quickly add answers to an easel activity. For this example, I will be using a free product found in my TPT store. The link can be found in the description. Some of the cool features that come along with the self-grading feature is that while working on the assignment, students can check their answers. This is a great way to give them immediate feedback so they can go back and correct their answer choices. Then as a teacher, after your students digitally turn in their assignment, you can quickly and easily see how many attempts it took for each student to get to the correct answer. No long nights grading. Answers to a product so that it is self grading in Easel by TPT, you're gonna actually need your answer key. So when you click on the file, you're gonna view your two files you're gonna first want to get the PDF. Most resources are gonna have the answer key located within the PDF document. So I'm gonna download this PDF. I'm gonna open it. And then I'm actually gonna drag it so that it is on its own page so I can easily refer to it off to the side. I'm gonna find which page has the answer key. So here is my answer key. I see my answers. And I'm gonna just shrink this down so I can easily see it off to the side and I will be able to quickly add the answers into my self-grading feature. So I'm gonna come back to easel here and I'm gonna move over so now I can see my answer key on one side of my page and I'll be able to access easel on the other side. So first I'm gonna to go to the second button here, preview and assign the easel activity I'm wanting to add answers to. I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to shrink it down so I can see it all on one page. So there's a new feature here. Now if you click on a shape, I think I'm going to add a circle. And I'm going to make it just be kind of like right over this button. I might even make it be a color so it stands out to the students. Uh, maybe I make it blue. Uh, but I don't want it to be completely filled in. So let's make it be um, a circle. And we'll have no fill, and it will be outlined, let's call it blue. So now if I click off of my circle, I can see there's a little blue line here. So where the self-checking comes into play is if you click on this circle now. In the middle, you'll see a check and an X. And this is where I can decide if this letter A is the correct answer or incorrect answer. And I can start to begin making this self-checking. So if I refer back to my answer key, I can see that number one is D. So A is not correct, so I'm gonna say incorrect. And so now I can simply take this circle and if I click on it, I can copy and paste and paste again, because I know there's gonna be three incorrect answers. And then I can easily drag these over the answer choice. So in this case, D is the correct answer. So I'm going to drag, so A, B, and C are incorrect. And if I want to, I can just duplicate one of these again. And this time I'm gonna make this one correct and you're gonna see it's gonna come up green. So now as a teacher, you can easily see that A, B, and C are incorrect, but that D is correct and I can see that over here. And so now I'm gonna quickly add the rest of these on and then we'll see how it looks for students. All right, so now I've got all my answers laid. I like to go back and just double check and I'll make sure they're correct. So one is D, two should be C, three is A and four is B and D. Okay, so I know my answer is all correct. Now, if you were gonna assign this to students, you would go on and continue to label the other answer choices. But in this case, I'm gonna go over so you can see what it looks like now for a student. 
So now that I've placed these in, I can view as a student. And your students are not going to see the red and green checks. They're just going to see this blue circle that I laid over the answer choices, letting them know that they can click it. So if I decide to answer, let's say the student says A, and then they're like, OK, I want to pick C, and then I want to pick A, and I'm going to pick B and C. They can go to the bottom here and they can click check before they're actually going to go on. And so I'm going to check this page and it says, OK, almost. I can see that I got two and three correct, but I was wrong on these. So I can go back and reread and now I can pick what I think. OK, well, maybe I think I'm going to try again and I'm going to look and see, OK, well, if that wasn't correct, now I'm going to pick uh, C. And this one, my C was incorrect. I think it's D. So I'm going to go back to the bottom here. I'm going to check. Oh, oops. Again, I'm incorrect up here. So I'm going to have another try. I'm going to try again. And this time I'm going to pick D and I'm going to check and I'm all correct. So I can move on to the next page and continue through my assignment before I turn it into my teacher. And it's a great way for students to get immediate feedback. For example, they're doing this at home for homework. They can see right away what's incorrect. They give a chance to go back and correct it. Then on your end, once they've turned it in, you will see how many attempts they made on each activity. So it's just an awesome tool to um, quickly assess your students without having to sit and grade everything. To assign the warm up to your students, just visit my TPT store and download the resource for free. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to my ch channel and check out my other videos to help you and your students prepare for state testing.